Four months before Benin's municipal elections, the FCBE party, that is the party of former President Boni Yai, one of uh, the West African country's major opposition parties, is in the grip of a crisis. So what are the issues and of what impact could this uh, crisis be on the country's uh, forthcoming uh, municipal elections, which will be held in May? Let's find out more. Let's dig deeper into this issue. And we're taking you straight to Kutunu in Beni, where our correspondent, Augustin, is standing by to give us more insight into this particular situation. We are good to have you in the program this morning. Right, as I said earlier, uh, the party of the former president, Boni Yai, is in the grip of what appears to be a serious internal crisis. What exactly is happening on the ground? Well, this whole issue started the day after the legislative elections of May 2019, after the Beninese authorities issue the certificate of conformity to the FCBC, FCBE party emerging from President Boni Yai at the end of September 2019. According to documents filed at the level of the Ministry of Interior, the former Minister of Tourism of Boni Yai, Paul Hankpi, became the new National Executive Secretary, replacing Valentin Ingenonti, former minister and former deputy in exile. Additionally, other leading members of the party, such as uh, the former Minister of Finance, wanted by the Beninese justice system, have been dismissed from the FCB. This has been badly received by other members of the party, who describe that Hong Peak's camp is in a political treason. Upon his return to the country at the end of December, after a long period of absence, Boni Yai, president of the FCBE party, tried to reconcile the two factions. And that was well received by all the members, by the way. But this crisis is far from being an epilogue. Last week, 42 members of the party, claiming to be members of the National Executive Office, issued a communique to the attention of the party's decentralized organizations in an attempt to woo the electorates ahead of the municipal and local elections next May. This group denounces the other members of the party for having taken the party hostage in their words, holding on to basic documents of the party, including the registration receipt. So, um, Augustin, some supporters of Boni Yai believe that these tensions are the work of the ruling party um, that is designed to weaken the opposition. Now, how true is this? Well, for me, this hypothesis does not hold water. First of all, because today the FCBE party has all its documents up to date, from the registration received through the certificate of conformity to the regulations of the party. Everything is up to date, unlike the situation that prevailed on the eve of May 2019 legislative elections when some parties accused the government in power of having dismissed them. Secondly, I personally see a lack of maturity within the party, which was considered one of the most powerful parties in the country only a few months ago. It is a war of interest which is affecting the FCB members, and this reveals a little bit of the intentions of political parties within our states. No prospective analysis was made within this party to anticipate this crisis that has been going on for months. Months. But this should raise several questions, among others, who really, really deserves to sit at the helm of affairs in the political party. However, I recognize that on the political field, things can happen. The stakes are there and quite clear. The municipal and local elections next May will also put some indicators. It will give some indicators, I should say, ahead of the 2021 presidential election. Well, finally, since Boni Yai's party is not the only party going through internal wrangling, what more can you tell us? 
Well, obviously, it must be said that other parties, such as the restoring of hope or former minister candidate Azanai, are also having difficulties with political formalities. Up until now, the party is yet to receive its registration uh, confirmation. That's if the file sent to the Ministry of the Interior has been validated. But this document, even if obtained, will not be used for the next elections because the party has decided not to be part or take part in the municipal elections. A decision that came from the executive board meeting held on 10 February in Kutuno. On the other side, there is the USL party, Sebastian Najabons. Liberal Social Union, which uh, has been recording a wave of resignations within the party for some time now. It must also be said to be noted that the USL party has also not received its confirmation. But for that, it's owing to the sentencing of the president of the party to 20 years in prison by the Benin Jassus system in the so-called cocaine saga. So these are the issues on the ground in relation to our discussions. Merci, Augustin, well, thank you very much, Augustin, for the insight you have given us and telling us more about what is happening uh, in, in Cotonou now. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Depuis le Togo, comme on peut le voir sur la carte qui s'affichait tout à l'heure. Jerry. Merci, Augustin. All right, our correspondent, our correspondent there speaking to us from uh, Benin. If you are just joining us, you're watching the morning call coming to you live here on African News. We are live for you, uh, for those on the Canal Sat Network in English and in French. You can use the blue button or the info button to change the settings to your preferred language. Also on our website, africannews.com, you can watch us in those two languages. Now, still to come on the program. Ivory Coast issues $184 million in local bonds. And in sports, Fab Duplessis has stepped down as captain of South Africa, that's South Africa's cricket team, with immediate effect. All of this, plus much more after the break. Natalie and I would be right back. Stay with us. <laughs> 